Hello dear students. Welcome back to my science class. Today I am going to start chapter 9 of your NCERT science book that is soil. So let's get started. Soil is one of the most important natural resources. It provides anchorage to the plants and supply water and nutrients. It is the home for many organisms. Soil is essential for agriculture. Agriculture provides food, clothing, shelter for all. Soil is thus an inseparable part of our life. The earthy fragrance of soil after the first rain is always refreshing. So we all know that soil is indispensable part of our life. Without soil, agriculture is not possible. And other than agriculture, our food cannot be produced. We cannot survive without food. Many people earn their living by agriculture. So their living also dependent on their clothing, shelter, everything dependent on the soil. Not only that, soil is the shelter for innumerable number of organisms. Just look at the picture. It is a uh, number of uh, boys and girls are very free, happy to plant trees on the soil. Now, table 9.1 that you will fill up yourself. Soil source, plants, animals any other observation one is given for you in garden soil you can see grass amongst the plants and plenty of other plants animals like ant earthworm different insects birds etc any other observations if you can find number two soil from the roadside what kind of grasses you can see what kind of animals you can see over there any other observation color of the grasses are freshly green like you can see in the garden soil or not soil from the area where construction is going on what kind of plants you can see do you even see any plants there or not what kind of animals you can see over there any other observation if you have like two more you have to do yourself like uh, soil from the riverside that you can do soil uh, from agricultural field what kind of grass plants animals can you see there now soil teeming with life a very catchy heading right one day during the rainy season paheli and bozo observed an earthworm coming out of the soil Paheli wondered whether there are other organisms also in the soil. Let us find out. Collect some soil sample and observe them carefully. You can use a hand lens. Examine each sample carefully and fill table 9.1 just as we have seen about that. Discuss your observation with your friends. Are the soil sample collected by your friends similar to one collected by you? So we can check with each other's list. Coming to the next part, Pahi is asking, I wonder why I found some pieces of plastic articles and polythene bags in the soil sample collected from the roadside and the garden? So this is a matter of great concern that maybe uh, Paheli has collected some soil sample from the roadside, from the garden, from the construction site and see find that plastics are there in the soil. It's a matter of great concern. You know that plastics pollute the soil. Polythene bags and plastics pollute the soil. They also kill the organisms living in the soil. That is why there is a demand to ban the polythene bags and plastics. Other substances which pollute the soil are a number of waste products. 
chemicals and pesticides. We know that pesticides, fertilizers that are used on the agricultural field are important for the plants, to, for the crops to grow. But we have to minimize their use and we have to understand that how much we can use. Other than this chemicals, pesticides, waste products ultimately pollute the soil. Waste products and chemicals should be treated before they are released into the soil. The use of pesticides should be minimized because we have to understand that hot chemicals are used that is taking life of some organisms. So we have to be very careful while using these pesticides in the soil. I have seen pots and toys made up of soil in hard bazaar. That is also another use of soil that is seen by Bozo. Now we will learn about a very important property of soil that is soil profile. That is a very very important property of soil. So we will quickly recapitulate that we have already learned that soil is the most important resource as it provides us with food because agriculture is entirely dependent upon soil. And it is the shelter to many lives, right? Now we will learn about soil profile. What is soil profile? Soil is composed of distinct layers. Perform the following activity to find out how these layers are arranged. Now to see, to understand that what is soil profile, we will perform this activity. What we are going to do? Take a little soil. Break the clumps with your hand to powder it. Now take a glass tumbler, three quarters filled with water. Okay, so we have collected soil from any sources. Better if we can so, uh, collect the soil from the garden source. We are breaking the clams and in a tumbler we have taken three fourth of water. And then add a handful of soil to it. Stir it well with a stick to dissolve the soil. Now let it stand undisturbed for some time. Afterward, observe it and answer the following questions. So first, observe what we can see if we keep the soil undisturbed for certain time. You will see in the glass tumbler on the bottom, we can see gravels. Gravels are stones, pebbles that are present in the soil. Then we can see a layer of sand. Over that we can see finer particle of clay. On the top of the that we can see water and topmost layer we can see humus. So if we have taken a beaker of water and mix the soil with it and keep it undisturbed, we have seen that soil is divided into a few layers containing gravel, sand, clay, water and humus and they are forming distinct layer. Do you see layer of particles of different size in the glass tumbler? Draw a diagram showing this layer. Are there some dead rotting leaves of the animal remains floating on the water? The rotting dead animals that are floating on the water they are known as Humor. So that is important. The rotting dead animals in the soil that is known as humus. We, we have seen on the topmost layer the humus are there. You probably know that the soil is formed by breaking down of rocks by the action of wind, water, climate. This process is called weathering. So formation of soil is a very, very long process, a slow process. Soil is formed by breaking down of rocks by the action of wind, water and climate by a process that is known as weathering. It is important to know. The nature of any soil depends upon the rock from which it is formed. And the types of vegetation that grow in it. 
a vertical section through different layers of soil is called soil profile that is actually we wanted to know what is soil profile a vertical section through which different layer of soil is formed is called soil profile each layer differs in fill texture color depth chemical composition these layer are referred to as horizons figure 9.3 so you can see this is the soil profile okay it is the bedrock that is present in the bottom of the soil now you can see a horizon that is reach in humus and from there that is the source of the nutrients to the plant plants are growing below that there is b horizon below that c horizon and bedrock each layer of the soil having distinct properties texture they differ from each other distinctively that is known as this vertical sections are known as soil profile we usually see the top surface of the soil not the layers below it definitely we cannot see the below layers if we look at the sides sides of the recently dug ditch we can see the inner layer of the soil too such a view enable us to observe the soil profile at that place soil profile can be seen while digging a well or laying the foundation of a building it can also be seen at the side of a road or hill at the steep river bank so we have to go deep into the soil to see the other layers otherwise generally we can see the topmost layer of the soil the uppermost horizon is generally important for the is generally dark in color because it is rich in humus and mineral the humus makes the see this is the soil fertile and provides nutrient to growing plants this layer is generally soft porous and can retain more water it is called top soil or a horizon we can see a horizon here right now this provides shelter for many living organisms such as worms rodents mole beetle the roots of small plants are embedded entirely in the top soil the next layer has a lesser amount of humus but more minerals this provide minerals to the root this layer is generally harder and more compact and is called b horizon or middle layer The third layer is the sea horizon made up of small lumps of rocks and cracks and crevices below. This layer is bedrock which is hard and difficult to dig with a spade. So this is about the soil profile. We have seen that each layer is having distinct property. The a horizon that is rich in humus and gives shelter to the give nutrient to the plant b horizon that do not contain that much of humus but is rich in minerals c horizon is difficult to dig it is somewhat harder and on the bottom there is bedrock that is very difficult to dig and from this bedrock slowly with the time the soil formed by the process of weathering so this is how soil is formed and this is the structure of the soil profile in our next class we will learn about soil in more detail we will actually learn about different types of soils in our next class thank you